Hey guys, welcome back. So, I've had a little bit of time to tinker. Uh, I haven't really had a whole lot of time to sit down and actually make a video and record anything. It's just been a little quick 30 minutes here, one hour's here. Not really enough to get out the, the phone here and record anything. So let me take you and show you what I've done so far. So as you can see here, this looks new, but actually I just cleaned it up really, really good. I went through and, and took it off completely, took all the wires loose, uh, cleaned it up really, really good, cleaned the, all the points inside the cap, cleaned the, the rotor a little bit more, and also cleaned the points on the distributor again. What I've also done is I finally got a piece in, this little piece, plastic piece right here. If you ever break those, you gotta wait a while before you can get one in. So finally got the automatic choke rebuilt. That's probably gonna need some tuning. I don't know much about it. I'm learning here guys, so bear with me. But we went through and kind of got this thing uh, to where it'll fire up. Now this is where I'm gonna ask y'all for a little bit of help. I'm not exactly a veteran at tuning carburetors. Now I've, whenever I set these mixture screws after I freshly rebuilt the carb, I had them set two turns out. After putting on the automatic choke, it idled for like 15 seconds. Pretty good. I was actually really excited. Um, whenever I went over here and opened up the choke a little bit more, it died immediately. Um, so I was thinking, okay, if I add air to it, then it's not getting enough fuel. If I add air to it and it dies, it's not getting enough fuel. So I turned the screws out another half turn, uh, which put me at two and a half turns out. And that it did the truck did not like that at all. So I went back to two turns. It, I couldn't get it to replicate and idle for 15 seconds. Uh, so I turned them in uh, on a half turn. So it's one and a half turns out. And it doesn't like that either. <laughs> I'm like, okay, truck, you're killing me here, Smalls. Guys, I can get this thing to rev up perfect. It, it has no missing sounds. It's not jarring everywhere. It's just that idle will not idle. Um... If y'all have any recommendations, something I can try, make sure you put that down there in the comments. I will try it. Um, I guess let's let y'all hear it. Uh, let's get inside the truck here and prime the, prime the carburetor up. Oh. All right. Bip it. Turn the key. Accelerator pedal. That's about all it's got. I don't know what's going on with it. It sounds like it's getting too much fuel. It sounds like it's not getting enough fuel. God, that smell. But guys, this, and there's no smoke at all. Guys, if y'all have any recommendations on tuning, a carburetor, a video you can send me or, or tag in the link that might make it a little bit easier for me to learn. More than welcome to see that. Uh, everything I've ever worked on has been fuel injected. You've had a computer to read the codes and this told you what part was wrong. And so I'm a little, I, was, I never was an, a carburetor guy, but 
I, I, this is a new me. So, <laughs> um, also, what I've done, I've put this truck up on jack stands because when you used to look at it, it used to sit a little sideways. I've still got I'm one jack stand short, so I'm actually got that this wheel on the ground, but. I had to go through and break all the lug nuts loose because this wheel doesn't turn. That wheel doesn't turn. So I'm thinking maybe the brakes are seized up on there. Maybe the drums are locked in on that, uh, on that brake pad. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to get those off. These two wheels do turn. That one's just sitting on the ground right now. I can't turn it. And this one here, if it wasn't in park, it'd probably turn. Um, this one, I actually broke a couple of lug nuts off. <laughs> they, that's how rusted these things were. Uh, but I did get these two to actually loosen up. So we will be able to take that one off too. I'll just have to get some new lug studs. And I'll probably honestly take a wire wheel and clean all the other lug studs up that way they're a little bit easier to put a lug nut on but hang on just one second and we'll get these wheels off all right guys i'll tell you this is a workout whenever all you have is hand tools and impact hey i have a pneumatic one but i don't have an air compressor um if i had like an electric impact God, my life would be so much easier. Uh, let's get this wheel off here. <clears throat> Anyways. So we can see we're working with uh, drum brakes up here. Great thing about drum brakes is there's no good point. They're, they're all bad. Eventually this will have disc conversion. Um, but for the meantime this uh this thing's seized on here so let's do some uh heavy hitting on it yeah yeah she's on there She is solid. Yeah. I still have weeds in everything from where it was sitting. Oh wow, cab quarters look really good. Cab mounts. <clears throat> now just taking this hammer and I'm beating the hell out of it so that it'll loosen up whatever's seized up in there. Because I should be able to turn this by hand and it's not moving. We'll be back once I get this off. All right, guys, so I know it's getting a little dark here. Looks like I'm only gonna have a chance to work on one wheel today. But I went ahead and took the cap off, took the nut off and all that, hoping that maybe I can get this thing to slide forward. Um, it, the grease was just pretty much non-existent in this thing, so I'm pretty sure this wheel bearing might be shot. Um, but. Let's try to get this off before it gets too much darker and uh, we'll see what happens. All right guys, so this is gonna be a lot of work getting these hubs off. 
or these drums off. But what I decided to do instead, since it's getting so dark, um, just gonna go do a quick overview of the inside of the truck. We never really did that. So, I've, I've already kind of rummaged through this a little bit. Um, I've got a glove box here. Does not even go to this truck. It looks like a Chevrolet or anything. Um, I've got three hubcaps. Unfortunately, I don't have all four. It's okay, I'll get different wheels put on it anyways. Other than that, uh, you can see a bunch of bottles. Um, so this, this truck actually used to sit in an old bar that was in uh, the county next to mine. Um, so they've got, uh, let's see here, this one here is Canadian Mist. And then we've got a bunch of early times. Kentucky whiskey. Um, got some vodka bottles. This here is what I guess he had in the center over there. He had this uh, home speaker. Looks like it used to go to a house. It's never looked like a truck speaker. That was in the center. I got some more vodka bottles. Some Jim Beam. Let's see here. Garbage. This one here's a unlabeled bottle. Not sure what this one is. It does have a seven on there. If y'all know what that is in the comments, let me know. Never seen that before. This thing's been sitting, uh, he said uh, it's been 20 plus years. Uh, he thinks it's been closer to 25. That ain't got any markings on it. I'll throw all these away here in a minute. I don't think any of them are worth anything. Uh, let's see here. Okay, we need some light. Hang on. All right. Got my trusty, dusty streamlight here. Let's see. Got some... Looks like old gloves. Some old coat tab. Uh, this right here looks like a uh, piece that actually goes on the truck that's bent. Got an old, uh, some old spark plugs down here. But I wanted to show y'all the uh, floor pans. Anybody need some spark plugs? I want to show y'all the old floor pans. I investigated this a little bit while I was out there. Guys, this right here is going to be replaced anyways. I've actually got a, a great idea for the inside of this. So, I'm not super worried about that. It's breaking to pieces anyways. But guys, y'all can see these floorboards. They're actually in really good health. I do have one pinhole right here. It doesn't seem to be too awful bad though. It actually looks like that was cut. But this side here, I mean, pretty solid floors for what it is. Let's go look at the driver's side. I think the driver's side had a little bit more rust to it. And guys, I wish I could say this. I really do. But honestly, at this point, the stuff is just breaking into pieces. And there's not really any point in trying to salvage it. Alright. So, let's 
so we got to look here at this floor pan and you can still see some green but we do have some cancer here and I don't know if y'all can see that I do have a couple of holes right here but all in all for how long this thing's been sitting I mean the floors are pretty solid uh, the smell in here in this truck is god awful but as most of you guys that like older trucks know we've got a gas tank right there and that is definitely coming out because I will not have a, uh, a death trap gas tank um, if any of y'all know a good way of cleaning up these old gauges here I tried using some uh, spit to see what the mileage was but as you can see it's let's see here these gauges are pretty eat up and they may just be really dirty I'm not sure but I'd like to get those cleaned up so if any of y'all know any good recommendations on that I'd much appreciate it <clears throat> and also this is going on with the windshield I don't know what that is it just looks like a haze but I've literally, it's, I cleaned a spot on the windshield. You can see how clear it gets. And then you get to here and it's like a smoky look. So if y'all know any way of getting those, that cleaned up, I'd like to know about that as well. But yeah, anyways guys, another day we're going to actually dive in here and uh, clean this. As best we can oh by the way there's the ceiling it's gonna come out of here oh look here I oh, forgot about this a 92 it's old license plate that's pretty awesome I'm not sure I tried to look on the tag and see what the last year was uh, it's just so far gone you can't really make out anything other than the tag number so <laughs> I'm, I'm going off of what the guy told me <laughs> uh, him saying it's been about 20 plus years 25 years that's what I'm gonna go off of um, but this is the inside guys and honestly, guys, how, how long ago was it that they made the uh, metal dash pieces right there? Like, you know they used to make things with quality. And, yes, I know the dash pad's all boogered up. But if you sat out and baked in the sun for 20 years, you probably wouldn't look too good either. So, anyways, until another day. I think I'm going to have to call that one in. It's getting too dark outside. Um, hopefully one day I can get off of work and long enough to actually do something with this truck. And uh, maybe I can work good enough to where I can get some extra money to throw in it. Um, I, want, I do want to remind you guys, uh, like, subscribe, comment, leave me recommendations, uh, leave me good vibes only i don't want anything negative if you got anything bad to say well don't say nothing at all um if you don't like it just go to another youtube video there's no use in in dishing out hate um i'm not exactly the most qualified or knowledgeable person but this is an old uh, project that i wanted to start and i do have a fundamental knowledge so it is what it is. Uh, other than that, guys, I'm going to sign off for today. Uh, oh, also, I'm going to start leaving uh, Venmo, PayPal, 
uh, cash app stuff like that uh, in the in the link or in the description below um, just so if y'all want to see more things happen to this truck if y'all want to be a part of it uh, if y'all want to donate that's great uh, y'all don't have to I'm not asking anybody to do that I will put all my own money into this truck but if anything that y'all do donate um, I will put directly into this truck. I won't spend it on anything other than this truck. I've got a list a mile long of things I want to do to this. Um, and hopefully we can all be a part of this together. So guys, for the until next time, uh, we're going to sign off. And thank you all for watching.